This is Gabriel Carrillo with another Check This Out Quick Tip for your next assessment. In this session, we will be showing you how to delete apps and widgets from home pages, as well as defining what a widget is and adding a widget to one of the home pages. Okay? So I have my Nexus 7 device booted up on ready to go. I'm navigating through the pages. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff on here that uh, came preloaded, like for example, these uh, books here, as well as the recommendations for me from the Play Store. I want to get rid of that stuff. Also, I have all these little icons here for apps that I've installed. However, I personally don't like to have just a bunch of scattered icons in here. So we've shown you how to add shortcuts to the home screen. Now we're going to show you how to take some of those off. It's just the reverse process. So I'm going to go ahead and hold that down, and now I get to move my app or widget. And if you notice, up here in the Google search, it was replaced by a remove button. So if I drag that up to the top until it turns red, it actually removes it from the home screen. Now, removing is not the same as deleting. It did not delete it. It just removed those, that shortcut from the actual desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and remove box as well as Dropbox. I don't want that on there. There's also that recommendation for me. I don't want that on there either. Okay, so that is how to delete apps. I'll go ahead and delete a couple more. I'm sorry, not delete apps, delete shortcuts from desktop. Now I'm going to show you what a, uh, I'm going to explain what a widget is and then actually go into install or um, placing a widget on one of the home screens. A widget is different from an application and such. A widget, I'm sorry, an, a shortcut to an application, like the calendar one, is literally a shortcut. It opens up the app for me when I want to on that home screen. Now, a widget is actually a running um, active shortcut on the actual desktop. It's not just a shortcut, but it's an actual interactive running um, shortcut that's on the desktop. So to add widgets, not, not every single one of these installed applications has a widget. You have to make sure that it does. If you look up here when you open up the app drawer, I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to open up my app drawer. Up in the top left-hand corner, it gives me a toggle between apps and widgets. If I click on widgets, here are all the available widgets that I have. Now, as you can see, I added a shortcut to the calendar. Now I'm going to add a widget to that calendar, um, of the calendar on to my desktop by holding down and I'm going to place it right there and as you can see I now have a widget. Well how is that any different? Well, I get to resize this to take up how much space I want and it does it off of a grid so now as you can see I actually can see my week at a glance really quickly here um, in the widget. If I click on it, I can now open up that specific event. So let's try that one more time. This is a shortcut to the calendar, which opens up my calendar. This is a widget of my calendar. I get to see everything in one shot. So I know that I have a tablet training from 3.30 to 5 o'clock at Skyline and Walker Butte. Now let's say that I wanted to go ahead and click on that one event. It actually opens that event up for me. It doesn't necessarily open up the entire calendar. Well, it does open it up in the background. However, it opens up that one event for me. So that is the difference between a shortcut to the application and an actual widget. So there's the shortcut of the calendar. Here's the actual calendar widget. Same thing if I want to get rid of it. Hold it down. Drag it up to that remove until it turns red. And it is now officially off the screen. Remember, dragging stuff up to that remove does not delete the application. It only deletes the shortcut from the desktop. This has been a Check This Out Quick Tip. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at FUSD Check This Out.